What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today is gonna be a good video because today I'm gonna show you five high protein lunch ideas. So basically these are five healthy, super easy recipes that are packed with protein and that you can pack with you and take on the go wherever you're going, whatever you're up to. So first up, what I just wanna say is that meal prepping doesn't have to be like a bro thing. I think we think of meal prepping as like this gross, cold tubberware situation and it literally doesn't have to be. Meal prepping literally means preparing your meals. It doesn't mean anything other than that and it doesn't have to be something obsessive and controlling. It can literally just be you wanting to pack something that is gonna be balanced, working towards your goals and easy for you to grab when you're out and about on the go with whatever you're doing that day. So whenever I am making any meal, I'm always looking to try and get a balance. I wanna try and get carbs, fats, protein, and also some micronutrients in there too. So all of these recipes are gonna have a balance of all of those things. You can totally tweak these to whatever your goal is, whatever you're working towards, whether you're bulking, you're cutting, you're maintaining, you're just living your best life, whatever it is, tweak away. I'm just gonna show you guys some great food. So let's go. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna make a spicy chicken Mexican style bowl. So you can see I'm using pre-packaged rice just because it is so convenient. It's already a portion and you can get loads of great flavors. So I'm having this. I'm gonna have a handful of spinach. I've got some grilled chicken. I've got half an avocado, which are my good healthy fats. And then I'm gonna pop a dollop of salsa in the middle of the dish. There are literally so many different options with this, so definitely have a play with different flavors, different meats, different veggies, all of that stuff till you get something that you really like. And you can definitely mix and match throughout the week if you are meal prepping something like this for a couple of days. Okay, so next up we have a bit of a veggie dish. So I am gonna start by washing some peppers and getting those chopped up, ready to go into the pasta as just like a really good hit of veggies. And veggies are great at really packing out meals and just giving them a lot more volume, but also just loads of great nutrients in there as well. So I'm actually using a pea protein pasta. You can buy this in loads of UK supermarkets. It's just a different type of pasta. Um, it's gluten-free and it's obviously made from pea flour. Um, it tastes really, really yummy. And obviously protein content wise, it's much, much higher. So I'm gonna use that and I'm also gonna use a kind of store-bought sauce. Now I would just say with these, check the labels. And as long as it is just the raw ingredients of tomatoes and veggies and all of that stuff that should be in there and it hasn't got things like added sugar or added salt, then I think these are great as a really easy way to add a sauce to a dish. So I'm gonna add this and then I'm also gonna top it with some high protein cheese. Now this was technically hashtag gifted from Muscle Food, but it is so yummy and I've bought it so, so many times. Again, you can find it in supermarkets and the macros are literally amazing. Pasta is another super cheap way to meal prep for the week because you can buy quite a big bag of dried pasta and obviously make several, several meals out of it. So I definitely recommend having a good pasta that you like in the cupboard just as a really quick and easy way to whip up something nice. Okay, so next up we have the sweet potato chicken and kale salad. So you totally don't have to do this as a salad, but I've done it as a salad because it's a great way to pack more volume into the meal, um, but it's just as well, really, really yummy. So I'm starting by chopping up my sweet potatoes. I don't peel them because I do like the skin on, and I'm literally just gonna pop them on a tray with some Fry Light one calorie spray, pop it in the oven, and they'll probably be in there for about 30 or 40 minutes, depending on how crispy you like them. So definitely watch them. 
So now I'm literally just gonna start to throw everything together in one big salad bowl. So I am using kale instead of lettuce, kind of a kale spinach combo, but you can totally use whatever you fancy um, or just have it on the side as like a side salad rather than mixing it all in together. I'm also using a light Caesar dressing um, just as like a really creamy way to bring some flavor in. I love this dressing. And again, just have a read of labels when you're in supermarkets because often there are some really, really good options. I literally love sweet potatoes and I love having them in the fridge as something that's really easy, already meal prepped. You can literally cook up a whole bag of potatoes in one go and just store them in your fridge so you know you've got a really easy carb source ready to go and they're just great. I just love sweet potato. You can also totally swap the chicken out for whatever your favorite high protein plant-based sauce is, whether it's tofu or whatever you fancy. Don't feel like it only works with chicken because it definitely doesn't. Next up, we have the tuna salad flatbread. So I'm gonna start by chopping up a red onion just because I love mixing this in with tuna. I just think it adds some veggies in there and it also makes it really flavorsome. So I'm mixing that up and then I'm literally gonna to throw together in a bowl a can of no drain tuna steak, which is in spring water. This is the one that I always buy. I'm gonna mix it in with some light mayo and I'm also then gonna mix my red onion in there too. So once everything is nicely mixed together, I'm literally just gonna slot it inside a flatbread. It is that simple with this bun. And then I'm also gonna serve it with a bit of a spinach and tomato side salad. But you can totally make this with bread or bagels or whatever you fancy. I just kind of like flatbreads just because they have a slightly different texture. But you can definitely go to town with whatever bread or filling type you like. There are so many great sandwich options. I would just say, don't hate on the sandwich. There are some great options and really easy ways to make them high protein. Last but not least, the turkey bacon Caesar wrap. So turkey bacon is probably one of my favorite protein sources as just a really great lean meat, which is really yummy and you can do loads of things with it. So I really like Caesar salads and I really, really like Caesar salad wraps. So this is kind of a bit of a recreation on this, but you can totally mix this up and obviously like add more carbs, lower the fats, do whatever you fancy, but this is just how I've made it today. So you saw me kind of mix together everything in one bowl and I actually use my hands to mix it just because it just makes it much nicer and creamy and it just makes sure that things like the kale and the spinach are really nicely coated in the dressing. So I'd much rather just use my hands when they're nice and clean than spoons, to be honest. So I've mixed it all together and then I'm literally just gonna pop it into a wrap. You can definitely see that I kind of overfill this. Um, and I'm just serving it with a side of the little bit of filling that was left over, but you can totally add more stuff on the side, more stuff inside it, whatever you fancy really. It's just a bit of an idea of how you can get that same Caesar salad flavor, I guess, but just with a super high protein twist. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been super informative with giving you guys some ideas of some high protein recipes that I genuinely love and which I think are super easy to include into your day, into your routine. If you did like this as a video, let me know because I would love to film. I would love to film, not Toby's lunch ideas. I would love to film five like breakfast ideas or dinner ideas or snack ideas or whatever so let me know below if you want me to film those because i would be super happy to and i think they would be good okay guys make sure you hit like and subscribe if you did enjoy and come check me out on instagram too because i share all sorts there